Part four, Kazuma Kiryu! Yes! Chapter one, Reunion. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It is finally time. After so long. <sighs> Wait. Is that Hamazaki? Bro did not, in fact, die. A lot of people washing up on your beach recently, huh? Shout for Kiryu. Okay, there we go. You. <laughs> like you didn't notice him until then. Oh <laughs> my. Hamazaki. Patched him up. Okay, you know this guy literally fucking almost murdered you, right? It would be weird if you did. No shit, Sherlock. どうして脱獄なんかしたんだ。そんなことをしても、また罪を重くするだけだ。そうだろう。Presumably, he doesn't plan on being caught again. 何日か前、西島という男がここを訪れた。その時。お前の名前を口にしていたんだが。その話本当か。ああ。そうか。西島のやつ、ちゃんと生き延びていたのか。そうか。やはり知り合いなのか。ああ。それで西島はどうした?ちゃんとカムロ町には行けたのか。ああ
They call it Okinawa Penitentiary Number 2. Take it you never heard the name? No. I had no idea a place like that existed in Okinawa. They officially call it a correctional facility, but that's a load of bull. It's a dumping ground for washed up yakuza they want to snuff out for good. It was only a few days ago that Seijima got shipped down from whatever shithole they had him up in, to up in Tokyo. Which is when you met. And immediately became blood brothers. Bingo. And you two planned a jailbreak together. More or less. Though I'm the one who came up with the idea, if I'm being honest. Why'd you pick Seijima as your partner? You saw him, right? Guy's built like a freaking brick wall. More importantly, I knew what really happened back in 85. The truth. Go on. Back in the day, Seijima was real tight with Majima. Yeah, that Majima. And that Uena Sewa hit? The one where Seijima slaughtered those 18 guys? That was originally going to be a two-man job. Seijima and Majima. Majima-san and Seijima were accomplices. Yep. But the day of the attack, Majima never showed. That betrayal's how I convinced Seijima to break out with me. Explains why Seijima was talking about revenge when he was here. It's all bullshit, though. Majima would never have betrayed his brother. They were both set up. By who? A guy named Shibata. Was heading up a third-tier Tojo family at the time. Problem is, Seijima and I got split up before I got to tell him what really happened. I think I can guess the favour you want. Yeah. You gotta tell him the truth, no matter what. Why is it so important? As it stands, Seijima's gonna try and kill Majima. Not only that, I mean, you're a bit fucking late here, to be honest. That's happened already, mate. <laughs> We've already had their confrontation. Not only that, but... But... But I really respect him. He doesn't deserve to be living life in the dark, you know? Hmm. I mean, sure, I only asked him to help me bust out because of how tough he is. But he actually started trusting me during the escape. Me, of all people. Look, my life's been nothing but betrayal after betrayal. I've been on both sides of that coin. But two people looked beyond all that. Chose to trust me anyway. You and Seijima. Amazaki. I want another chance to start over, be a true brother to a guy who went out on a limb and actually trusted me. So I'm begging you, Kiryu-san, you gotta help me. One question first. What's that? Why do you need me to do it? Can't you go tell Seijima all this yourself? Well, I... What is it, Amazaki? これは。wasn't that the guy from... Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I like that they're tying things back into previous plot lines. I very much appreciate that. Definitely a fan of when, like, a series of stories aren't all just like, and here's the new story, and then when this story ends, you can forget it and move on to next story. And then when that story happens and ends, you can forget it and move on to next story. I definitely like that it's, like, tying back into itself and stuff. That's cool. A year back, when I was still suckling the Tojo clan teat, I found out that the top brass over at the Tokyo PD had their hands dirty. Real dirty, with tons of shady cash. 
Bet you can guess where I learned all that. The Snake Flower. Yup. They'd been working with one of the top men on the force for years. Laundered his money through foreign banks and everything. Why go through all that trouble, though? What did the police need with all that cash? What they needed was to build what one of their highest ranking boys called their utopia. Penitentiary number two. Right again. The idea was they'd build a place to toss all the convicted Yakuza they round up, then go and make deals with those very same Yakuza. What kind of deals? Stuff like bribing people to commit crimes. Then when the cops came in and saved the day, everyone would think they were the heroes. Crime would become a police-controlled affair. That's absurd. Yeah, an absurd power grab. Whoever handled those crimes would get big brownie points on the force, end up rocketing up the ranks. I still can't believe the 10 billion Jingu was trying to launder through the Tojo. Was supposed to end up with the cops. Believe me, I was just as surprised as you when I found out. Even with the money getting blown to high heaven, the paper trail alone is some serious shit. Honestly, the only reason I grabbed this file in the first place is because I wanted a little dirt on the warden. Something I could use to bargain my way out of there, you know? But I gotta say, I never thought I'd stumble on a shitstorm this massive. Mm. Almost feels like it's out of my league, if you get me. I show up on Tokyo PD's doorstep with this baby in tow, and that'd be the last anyone ever hears of me. Hmm. Turns out this file's not the bargaining chip I was hoping it'd be. It's yours now. But why me? Because you were at the centre of everything that went down five years ago. Hell, you even had to beat the shit out of your own brother at the end of it all. Then... <sighs> Kill you? Come on, don't give me the silent treatment here. I just don't get it. Why did you show me that? I already told you. you got to go to Kamurocho and tell my boy Seijima what really... There's more to it than that. I know there is. Besides, you would end up behind bars again in no time without this bargaining chip of yours. So tell me, Hamazaki, what are you really after? Huh.俺らが just when he thought he was out there pulling him back in. Ah. Tai Chi in the house. Yo. We're home, Uncle Kaz. Looks like you kids had a good trip. You enjoy yourselves? Oh yeah, it was awesome. We hiked, went camping, even saw some old bones and stuff at a museum. Well, wow, doesn't sound like my kind of trip. <laughs> yeah, hiking, woo! Yeah, camping, fun. Old bones and stuff. Truly the most exciting. Wasn't it super cool, Koji? Mm-hmm. You gotta go with us sometime, Uncle Kaz. How was your grades trip, Ayako? Great! I think this is the most the game has jumped between, like, proper cutscene into unvoiced cutscene yeah, into yeah, proper cutscene into unvoiced into proper cutscene. It's like five times in a row. Haruka, 
おじさんは黙ってて私はねこの人のこと許したわけじゃないのベイスおじさんは忘れたのこの浜崎って人は一年前おじさんのこと刺したんだよ私それ目の前で見てたんだよ<笑>そうだよな俺は悪党だもんな浜崎悪かったなはるかちゃんよその子たちに近づこうとしてYou now have access to a hideout. You can save your game, etc. Poggies! We're back! For the first time in the entire game, <laughs> we are actually controlling the main character of the series. They said it couldn't be done. Oh man. It's interesting though, the story has seriously picked up in the last section. I'd say in the first two sections, it was like, it was alright. There was some interesting things going on, but it wasn't matching up to some of the earlier stories. But by the end of Tanimura's section, I actually think it is. By the end of Tanimura's section, it's actually getting pretty fucking twisty-turny, and I like me some twisty-turny. So, uh, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I guess I should save, actually. Hey, Haruka. You're going back to Camarocho, aren't you? Haruka, I... I'm indeed. <laughs> I just don't get it, Uncle Kaz. How can you trust him so easily? He stabbed you in broad daylight, Uncle Kaz. You almost died. I'll never trust him. Never in a million years. Haruka, please. Whenever I see him, I just think back to what happened last year. What he did to you. That memory terrifies me, Uncle Kaz. Haruka. I've always believed in you. You know I have. But this time, I'm really worried. It feels like if you go to Tokyo now, you're never going to come home. You heard us talking last night, huh? Maybe you want to know what happened five years ago, but I don't care one way or the other. I just want you to be safe. You don't care? Aruka, you lost both your parents in that incident. I lost Nishiki and Kazama-san. If there really was something more going on behind the scenes, wouldn't you want to know what it was? I... I'm happy just being here with you, Uncle Kaz. That's all I need. Not the truth. Just you. Aww. That's so sweet. Haruka. Bro said, I will keep all the distance you need, and then the very next morning immediately walks straight up to her. <laughs> あ、もう決めたんだ。俺は最初に真実が伝わりゃそれでいい。それは他の誰かに頼むとしよう。だから、キユさんよ。あのファイルのことは忘れてくれ。<笑> 
俺は結構しぶとい獄中で佐江島の帰りをゆっくり待つとするよ浜崎Wait, so he's saying he'll just get himself put back in prison and wait for Seijima to join him? That's the worst fucking plan I've ever heard. Yeah, guess I'm gonna head down to the station now. Turn myself in. That's what? That's just fucking completely stupid, Hamazaki. A. Seijima might not get caught. B. If Seijima is caught, he might get transferred to literally any other prison other than your one. C. Maybe he'll just get killed. D. <laughs> Like, maybe you'll just get killed, because the cops are certainly not going to be happy that you broke out. And, as you are aware, they are corrupt as shit. Like, wh what is this plan? This is, this is the worst plan in the history of plans. Already? Sooner the better, I figure. Anyway, I'll be seeing you, Kiryu-san. Hold on. Do you even know where the police station is? I'm an adult. I got eyes. I'll find it. I'm coming with you, Hamazaki. We might have had our differences. <laughs> yeah, we had our differences. You stabbed me. I almost died. Differences, you know? But you at least deserve a proper send-off after all we've been through together. Heh, yeah, suit yourself. I truly do not know about this one, Chief. It's go time, Kiryu-san. You ready? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. You sure about this, Hamasaki? 100%. The only way I'm reuniting with Sagemer is when we're both back in the slammer. Why? What leads you to that conclusion? You know he's in Camarocho. You could just go to Camarocho and you might reunite with him there. Amazaki. Please, why won't you listen to me? My brother was sent to a prison in Okinawa. Oh, hi. <laughs> right. Didn't immediately recognize her from behind, but yeah. I know he was. You can say that all you want, lady, but I've never heard of this penitentiary number two you keep going on about. Now go home already. No, please. You have to listen to me. I'm begging you. We already have listened. Listen. I already told you, we looked through the logs of every prisoner shipped down here. Your brother isn't, and has never been, in an Okinawa prison. He is. I just know he is. Please, check for Tiger Sejima one more time. Please, officer. What? No. Huh? I'm going to check for him. I'm going to check for him. Just wait a minute. Are you a friend タイガーは私の兄です。ちょっと警察署の前では都合が悪いな。もしよければ少しお話を聞かせてもらえませんか。もしかして、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
Yakuza 3? I think so. So, are you ready to talk? We might be able to find where your brother is if we pull all the information we have. Right. Now, you said you were Tiger Sejima's sister. That's right. My name is Yasko Sejima. I... I haven't seen my brother for 25 years now. Every single day I tried to visit him in prison, but they never once let me in to see him, not a single time in all those years. Then, just a few days ago, I heard he was being transferred. How did you hear that? If no one's even letting you speak to him or talk to him, like, who told you? The penitentiary number two. Hmm. As soon as they told me, like, the, okay, so the police never let you see him, but they did go out of their way to make sure you knew he was being transferred. Just so you could not see him somewhere else. I, <laughs> like, sure. And wait. It's this top secret prison that, like, even other cops in Okinawa don't know exists, but they told you that that is where he's being transferred to? Even though it's top secret? Something's not adding up here. That, that doesn't quite make sense. As soon as they told me, I left Kamurocho and raced down here. But no matter how many times I ask, all the authorities insist such a place has never existed. Yeah, okay. Is, is this bad writing, or is this going to be a twist somehow? Because all the authorities insist such a place has never existed, so they wouldn't have told you about it. <laughs> like... That's what we walked in on. Yes, I'm at my wit's end here. Yasko san yeah? Anyone who told you penitentiary number two doesn't exist either doesn't know the truth or was lying to you. It's real, all right. What? I should know. I've been there. You have? Oh yeah, they gave it some fancy name and number like a regular old prison, but it's not actually government run. You ever hear of a private prison? Of course. And that's what penitentiary number two is? Yep. Details are going to have to come later though. I've got some more important news for you first. Truth of the matter is, I know your brother. You know Tiger? Uh-huh. Oh, and here's another grain of truth for you. He's long gone from Okinawa. Probably reached Kamurocho by now, if I had to guess. Me and him broke out together a few days ago. You what? He's telling the truth. Your brother washed up at my orphanage the next day, and I ended up giving him some money to get up to Kamurocho. Sorry, Yasko. You just missed him. In that case, I can't afford to waste any more time here. I need to get back to Kamurocho at once. That doesn't sound good. どういうことだ、これは。どうした変な連中が大量にビルに入ってきやがった。刺すかもしれん。どうする気よ。今警察に捕まったら説明するのに時間がかかる。とりあえずここでよ。はい。Are we fighting our way out, or are we sneaking out the back? Because if she's with us, she can't fight. Hello! I mean, that's the same outfit the guards at the prison were wearing, right? Oh, is this motherfucker right? So that's the bitch who went running to the police begging to see Seijima. With these guys, Hamazaki. Guards, from that shithole penitentiary I was telling you about. These pricks are the cruelest goons in the business. Heh, rich coming from an escaped convict. Look, I'll go back with you. Whatever I gotta do. 
Just leave these two out of it. They don't got a damn thing to do with this. No can do. Don't worry, Hamazaki. We're not gonna kill you. But you're gonna need a serious attitude adjustment when we get you back in the slammer. Might have to beat you till you change. Either way, the bitch isn't going anywhere. Why? This is between you and me. Sorry, but Warden's orders. He told me to bring him Tiger Sage and his sister. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Me? But why would... This is a load of bull. Amazaki. Huh? Take care of Yasko-san. What? What are you saying, Kiryu? I'm saying I'm going to fuck these motherfuckers up. You stay behind me and keep us safe. Understand? Yeah. You hear that? If you want to get to Yasko, you're going to have to go through me. And who are you, tough guy? Someone who spent almost a quarter of his life in prison. And I can tell, you're no ordinary guards. Huh. Step aside, pal. Or who knows, we might just accidentally beat you to death. I think you'll find that's not as easy as you expect. Heh. <laughs> Your funeral. No more fucking around. Slaughter him. Here we go again, big boy. Ow. Okay, do you want to fucking take a take a breath for a moment there? Uh Oh, these are already unlocked. Nice. Uh okay. What else do we want? Fucking annoying, isn't he? How is his face not completely broken? Okay. What are we doing now? Just heading out?
Who wants some? You want some? I'll give it ya. Big boy. Who's next? Lol. Get over here. Or, oh, okay, actually do that. Sure. How is this random prison guard, like, the most resilient motherfucker in the entire series? Bro had like three phases in the prison, and now he's back and he's on his second phase here. Bro is more resilient than like every fucking high-ranking Yakuza member we fought. And he just blocks fucking everything. Just fucking hyper-armors through it. Like, literally, what the fuck, dude? It's so bullshit. He just hyper armors through every single fucking attack and then just one shots you back onto the floor with no recourse. Like, what? <laughs> this is such bullshit. God, I fucking hate the combat in these games, dude. Such garbage. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Sure why there we go. Why I wasn't getting the option to fucking use a thing on him. Great, now we're back to this fun fun combo. Can I use a heat move maybe? That'd be cool. No heat move for me. Don't worry, I've only stood over him with a fucking item. Sorry, like that usually gives you a heat move or anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fucking shit combat. Oh my god, you are. Sucking you, kid. あとの処理は俺がやる。だからあんた一刻も早く最初までとこれ。浜崎さん。お前。どういうわけかわからんが、安子さん。あんたも命を狙われてるようだ。桐生。うん、分かってる。俺も一緒に川室町に行く。え。
俺はお前に頼まれてするわけじゃないカムロ町に行くのは俺の意思だ早く行けこっちのことは心配するなああ行こうヤスコさんはい浜崎さんありがとうございました兄にあなたのような親友がいたこと誇らしく思いますやめてくれそういうの兄には必ずあなたのことを伝えますいいから行けさあ行こう Unfortunate. Chapter Two to Camarocho. Oh, ah.、Uh. When did this take place? Because didn't Bro just get killed? <laughs> Leaving already, Marchan? You know, Zao san, you've been a better friend to me than I've ever been to you. Don't be ridiculous. You know that's not true. I'm just sorry the truth turned out to be so harsh. Your father murdered by another man on the force. I can barely believe it. You're telling me. So, wait, I'm, what, I'm confused what happened after the final scene of his thing. Because he had both of them tied up, the cop. And then there was a gunshot. Did Tanimura just arrive in time and shoot him instead? Something about all this doesn't sit well with me. How will your father's spirit ever find peace? I think he'll be just fine. Hmm? Chief Hisai, Sugiichi san. They were tired of being used by Munakata and Katsuragi all these years. Hmm. The two of them spent their whole lives serving others. For their final moments, those were theirs, and theirs alone. They went out following their own brand of justice. Marchan. I'm so confused why this has seemingly happened off screen. Like, what? <laughs> Sugiuchi san must have known telling me the truth of what happened 25 years ago was signing his own death warrant. But he did it anyway. And Chief Asai, he took his own life in order to spare you, me, and Meihua. What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Chief Asai definitely didn't give a shit about the two people that work here. And, like, maybe he gives a little bit of a shit about Tanimura, but. Enough to fucking kill himself rather than kill Tanimura? After being a fucking traitor in the force for 25 years? This was the thing where he's like, nah, that's, that's too far. Tanimura, you know. I just care about him so much, I better kill myself instead. I don't know about that. I don't know about that one, Chief. That explains what he said into the phone before he shot himself. Both of them will be dealt with. Yeah. Chief Asai told Munakata I was dead so he'd stop coming after me. He spared my life so that I could do what's right. So that I could do what he never could. But surely as soon as the chief finds out that he's fucking dead, surely he's gonna go, oh, well then. I guess he's, I guess he got killed trying to deal with Tanimura and Tanimura killed him instead. So I guess he's still out there. <laughs> you mean bring Munakata down? Exactly. But how are you gonna do that, Marchan? Munakata is one of the most powerful men in one of the top police institutions in the world. Well, I don't think I'll be getting much help from my fellow officers, that's for sure. Yeah. Ni hao. Akiyama san. <laughs> Phew. The shit's really hit the proverbial fan, huh? You're telling me. Anyway, what's up? You wouldn't swing by here without a good reason. Hmm. 
You know, sometimes it's depressing how sharp you are. What happened? District Attorney's goons showed up in my office, started tearing the place apart at the seams. Not to mention, they chucked me out onto the street. Wait, they're investigating Sky Finance? On what grounds? They said they're looking into some kind of coercion. The exact terms eluded me at the moment. Anyway, the issue is my tests. They said I'm forcing people to do stuff they don't want to do in exchange for money. Classic coercion case, I guess. Heh. <laughs> It's like I can hear the words coming out of the DA's mouth himself. Anyway, I didn't know where else to turn, so I thought I'd drop by here. Looks like I caught you at a bad time, though. Want me to come back later? No, your timing actually couldn't be better. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I need a hand with something, Akiyama-san. Are we going back to Kiyu? Okay, find out later what the thing he needs a hand with is, I guess. I was like, hang on, is Kiyu's section actually just one chapter of Kiyu and then we're going back to Tanimura immediately? But no, we're good, we're good. <laughs> can't think of a better place to talk than New Serena. Yasuko-san, there's a bar near here that I used to go to back in the day. We can catch our breath there for a bit. Okay, I'll follow your lead. Uh, oh. I was gonna go save, but it looks like we're actually locked into just this little bit, so I guess we have to go to Serena. Hopefully we can save in there. I know we can normally, but it might just put us straight in a cutscene. And I do kind of need to wrap this up. <laughs> uh... You know what, I'll deal with that later. I'm rapidly running out of time and do actually need to wrap this up, like, now. <laughs> What's this truck doing here? Is someone moving? Unsure. I thought we were going up the back, never mind. Fuck, it's not gonna let me save, is it? <laughs> okay, well... Oh, hey! Since when did you work here? We have ten minutes, guys. <laughs> no matter what, I have to end in ten minutes. So if, uh, if worst comes to the worst, we will just have to quit in the middle of a scene or something. But I am on a very, very tight time limit at this point. What's going on, Kiryu? You show up in a guy's bar and don't even drop him a line first? Sorry for not letting you know, Date-san. I have some business in town. Work never ends for the ex-fourth chairman, huh? You got that right. Anyway, this is Yasuko Sejima. Yasuko Sejima. I'm hel here helping her with a little something. Dom. It's nice to meet you. Oh, the pleasure's all mine. She's a knockout, Kiryu. How'd you end up bringing a girl like her back here, huh? Whatever you're thinking, I guarantee you've got the wrong idea. Let's leave it at that. I don't have sex, Date. <laughs> By the way, where's Mama? Gone for the week. Family trouble, you know. You know how it goes. And you're holding down the fort while she's gone. For all the other customers that you never have. <laughs> yep, it's a real pain, what with my other work and all, but she insists we keep it open for the regulars. There's literally never been anyone else in here. Ever. Lucky for us that she does. Now, Kiryu, what's this little something you need to take care of? Oh, right. You mind taking a seat, Yasuko-san? Um... Please. I just need to ask you something before we head out to find your brother. <gasps> okay. So what is it you want to ask me? Sorry if this is a blunt question, but why do you need to see your brother so bad? Bad enough to murder for it? Wait, you what? 
Here, you san is this really the best place to- Don't worry about Date-san. He's an ex-detective, yeah, but we can trust him. I promise. He'd never turn you in without hearing what you had to say first, and then he might turn you in. <laughs> Isn't that right, Date-san? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. Hello, can I go to the- there we go. <laughs> now tell me the truth, Yasuko-san. Why would you go so far for your brother? I. Yasko san Come on. It's because... Because Tiger is everything to me. I owe him my life. What? I'm serious. If it weren't for him, I would have died years ago. Go on. Have you ever heard of a living donor kidney transplant? Oh, yeah. Read about those things all the time. That's when they give you a kidney from one of your relatives, right? They say you only need one after all. Right. The truth of it is, I'm the recipient of one of those living donor transplants. And your brother's the one who gave it to you, huh? That's what you meant when you said you owe him your life. Yes. Hold on. Getting a transplant like that from your sibling isn't all that uncommon. I'm not judging or anything, but do you really owe him that much just for a kidney? It's not that simple. Think you can explain? And quickly? The kidney I got, it wasn't Tiger's. He wasn't a match. What? Different blood types? Well, yes, but... But what? Why couldn't you get a transplant from your brother? Yasuko-san? I, um... I think I get what's going on here. You and Tiger aren't actually siblings. Kiryu. you. He's right. Tiger is my stepfather's son from his prior marriage, while my mother had me before she and my stepfather even met. Then where'd you find a match? Since my mother had already passed, Tiger tracked down my biological father and begged him to donate his kidney to me. Sejima. Beyond the regular difficulty of finding a kidney donor, my blood type is extremely rare. A direct relative was my only hope of a match. Once Tiger learned that, he spent every waking moment of his life scouring the city until he found my father. He was only 15 years old at the time. Still just a kid, huh? I had honestly given up hope. Before my mother died, she told me my father was nothing more than an abusive drunk with no chance of ever changing. Based on what I knew, it seemed likely he was already dead. Even if he wasn't, I didn't want to live knowing I owed my life to such a horrible man. At the time, I would have rather died than continue on carrying a part of him inside me. But Tiger wouldn't take no for an answer. He said no matter what happened, he would take care of me. Then, he found your dad? Yes. Well, where was he? In Kansai. He had started working for a Yakuza organization called the Omi Alliance, handling the dirty jobs nobody else wanted to touch. The Omi? That's right. Tiger went alone to Kansai knowing full well that my father was a Yakuza, but... Let me guess. They tried to extort him. Exactly. A Yakuza through and through, my father demanded a massive sum of money in exchange for one of his kidneys. How much cash are we talking here? 30 million yen. 30 mil? That's a ton now, but it was a fortune back then. How was a kid ever supposed to get his hands on that kind of money? He wasn't. That was the point. But Tiger didn't give up. He started fighting thugs in the streets of Camarocho, trying to scrape together whatever funds he could. That would never work. Not for cash like that. It didn't. Not until Sasai-san from the Tojo clan stepped in. He gave Tiger the 30 million under one condition. He joined the Sasai family. So that's how he ended up in the Tojo. All that time, Tiger never turned his back to me. Even when it seemed like all hope was lost, he supported me. He dropped out of high school, gave up on his dream of becoming a teacher, even joined the Yakuza for me. So that's what you mean when you said you owe him your life? That's right. He's everything to me. Not only did Tiger literally save my life, but he gave me the will to keep on living. Yes, go sad. We've got five minutes. Five minutes. It's been like half an hour since it's given me the opportunity to save in a walk around bit. It's been over half an hour. It's been like 40 minutes. You've got to give more regular opportunities to save and quit. It let me save at the end of the chapter, but it doesn't. There's no quitting point there. <laughs> Because it's back-to-back cutscenes around it. Oh, that's right. Uh. 
Yesko-san, you keep saying you owe Tiger your life, and I get it. We all rely on other people. It's hard to keep going without someone loving you, supporting you, pushing you onward. But in your case, Tiger became more than that. He's not just your support, he's your reason to keep living. I... I know life hasn't been easy for you. Losing your parents is one of the worst pains imaginable, and you had to bear that burden at a far younger age than most. But having a hard life doesn't excuse the way you've lived. <laughs> not that I have any right to talk. I've made my fair share of mistakes. Kill you. I understand why you feel so strongly, but that emotion has led you to some bad decisions. It's not a stretch to say it's completely clouded your judgement. So I need you to stay here while I go figure out where your brother is. It's for your own good. But... Kill you. Don't worry, I'll find him. And I'll make sure you two are reunited, I promise. But for now, you just need to be patient, okay? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Yasuko-san. Okay, are we getting back control out? Take care of her for me, will you? Heh, do you even have to ask? Bro, I need to save at the door! <laughs> yes, you don't have access to a hideout. Did he just walk out without letting me save? Do I have to fucking turn around and walk back in? God damn it. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. No, not another cutscene, bro! Jesus fuck, let me fucking save! Hold on, what's wrong? There's something I need to tell you. Couldn't say it in there. Doesn't involve her. You bet. What is it? Uh, the town's been on edge because of Sagema, partially. Imagine and Sagema linked up. Uh, lined the whole boys on the streets. Yep. Where can I find him? Uh, I need him to tell me about shit. The police. Can't say much more than that. Need to hear Majima Sans side. He's on the top floor of the Millennium Tower. Great, thanks. Okay, good. Fucking hell. Let me save. Jesus Christ. I got an email! Fuck off! Jesus Christ! Come to Yoshida Batting Center. Let's finish what we started four years ago? That could be just about anybody. Guess I'll find out. Okay, fuck me. Jesus. Cutting it very close here. Boom. Done. Okay, good. Jesus. That was, uh... That was, that was very, very close to having to just cut it off in the middle. But we just fucking squeaked it in. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Yakuza 4 Remastered. Thanks for watching. See you then.